Recipes for technical trading success in Cook's Kitchen. Get ready, Elroy Jetson fans. We're going to do some deep learning today, and you're going to get your MPA. MPA stands for Massively Parallel Architecture. It's the technology behind supercomputers that are creating artificial intelligence, machine learning, and crunching all this big data we have. Big news in uh, the past couple of weeks here, IBM continues to remain at the center of all this, an alliance with Salesforce, and continuing innovations with NVIDIA, the, uh, the chip maker you may know from all the high-powered uh, gaming they create. But they're also creating supercomputers, and so we're going to dive into some of that today. First, some of the news from big data, machine learning, artificial intelligence land. Uh, IBM and Salesforce got together on March 6th. Now, you, you can go read the press release yourself. I just want to highlight what I highlighted here in black, that you're bringing together IBM's Watson and Salesforce's Einstein. That's uh, Salesforce's uh, AI platform. So they're working together. What's funny about this is the day that this news came out, uh, Jim Cramer was speculating, you know, somebody needs to buy Salesforce. Somebody's going to buy them because, you know, they're the premier embedded uh, CRM for enterprises. And he speculated it would have to be Google. Uh, you know, Microsoft's buying LinkedIn, uh, and uh, maybe it didn't fit for IBM, but he thought this is what Google needs to do to get some more traction uh, on their share price. So, and then after the close, IBM and Salesforce come out and announce this alliance. Okay, back to the details here. Um, so I highlighted below, you know, what do, you, what do consumers and businesses get from this alliance? Uh, obviously, Salesforce gets more computing power from Watson, and IBM gets access to the CRM stuff that Salesforce does, uh, including for, for Salesforce getting stuff from IBM, it would be uh, weather, healthcare, financial services, and retail analytics. And uh, they use this verbiage here. Together, Watson and Einstein will ingest, reason, reason over, and derive recommendations to accelerate decision making. So some unique verbiage there. They're going to ingest, reason over, and derive recommendations. Um, new verbiage for w what we're getting from artificial intelligence networks. All right, now let's talk about where does NVIDIA come in. Well, this, is, uh, this was a press release in November of 2016 where IBM and NVIDIA team up on the world's fastest deep learning enterprise solution. And, uh, but they actually had an alliance going back several years to at least maybe 2012. Uh, I just want to read this below. The new IBM power system for high-performance computing HPC, that, if you ever see HPC, it stands for High Performance Com Computing. The servers feature a new IBM Power8 chip designed for demanding workloads, including artificial intelligence, deep learning, and advanced analytics. So I, I got very curious about this. And by the way, for uh, one of my portfolios here at Zaxx, the Taser Trader, we own Salesforce CRM and NVIDIA. And so I was getting more curious about what kind of chips is NVIDIA creating to, to uh, you know, power deep learning, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. All right, so it all comes down to parallel processing. And so this is, the, this is a graphic that NVIDIA created to just to explain the difference between your basic CPU, your central processing unit, and GPU, which stands for graphical or graphics processing unit. And the whole idea is that you have a thousand, thousands of more cores to process information in parallel versus just having all these central cores that process in a serial fashion, in a, in a linear fashion. So that's the basic idea behind massively parallel architecture, MPA, sometimes called massive parallel processing too. But they like, the, the engineers like to call it massively. Uh, I, I think it gets the point across that, that b when they create these on scale, uh, that's where the benefits come in for deep learning and artificial intelligence. By the way, uh, longtime followers know that um, I've been an investor in Mobileye, the company that's making uh, machine vision for self-driving cars. 
They're out of uh, Israel. And they have their own deep learning programs. Now, I don't know whose uh, computer engines and architecture they use to drive their deep learning, but the whole idea with Mobileye is that um, the, the camera is taking in information and the computer is storing it and being able to identify objects, people, roads, that kind of thing, and, and storing it on a massive scale when they have all these cars out there recording information. All right, diving deeper into how GPU acceleration works, this is also a slide from NVIDIA. So uh, the application code, I would assume, would be the instructions, the software, and it's using the CPUs uh, for serial processing, and, but can send some instructions over to GPUs, multiple processors there, uh, and, and have things running in tandem. And the last look is a slide. Um, this is also from NVIDIA, but it's based on an article from uh, Anantech. Anantech is a blog that's been around for probably 20 years. It's uh, run by Anton uh, Shilov. And this is an article he wrote in April 2016 where he's talking about the IBM and NVIDIA um, team up, so to speak, and trying to describe it. Now, so if you go on, uh, on his site, you can find a ton of great articles about this, as, as well as the NVIDIA and IBM sites. Uh, but you get a, a, an outside observer perspective from a, from a tech freak here uh, with uh, Anon Tech. And let me just read a, a few of the things he talks about in this article from April 2016 when uh, many of these things were still in development that we just learned about in November. So this is, he was calling this their second generation high performance computing HPC application. And the machine is designed for IBM's latest Power 8 microprocessors and NVIDIA's Tesla P100 compute accelerators. Uh, Tesla not to be confused with the car maker Tesla, um, obviously popular name among anybody in engineering or technology. So what, what I thought stood out here is that you know, the way IBM and NVIDIA are combining uh, at least two IBM CPUs and four of these Tesla P100 accelerators. And apparently the uh, IBM Power8 CPUs have 12 cores, each of which can handle eight hardware threads at the same time, thanks to 16 execution pipelines. So uh, you can see the network here and how it builds. And this is, you know, massively parallel architecture, MPA, is what creates machine learning, deep learning, and artificial intelligence. I put that in quotes because, you know, the people, if we're really trying to model the human brain, it may take another couple centuries before we can duplicate it. But in the meantime, we're, uh, you know, IBM, Watson, and anybody trying to do stuff with deep learning is coming close to some form of machine intelligence by being able to crunch all this data at super high speeds. All right, I think that's all I wanted to talk about, artificial intelligence and the rise of machines. Oh, one more thing. Uh, and NVIDIA just uh, sold a bunch of chips to Fujitsu, who is building a new supercomputer in Japan. Now, I mean, these things are, NVIDIA's chips are already, and their processors are already in many university research centers, probably a few government ones too, uh, crunching the big data and uh, keeping an eye on us all and trying to learn new things. All right, thanks for joining me in the kitchen.